with a lot of prayer and deliberation, I've made this decision to forego my senior season and an NBA draft. Uh, I want to thank Tennessee for the for making these last three years so special. I felt like uh, I've definitely grew up and became a man here, and I'll always be a ball for life. What were the last few weeks like? What were the last couple of days <clears throat> like for you to make this decision? What what factors went into it? Well, I always felt like I was ready, and I always felt like I was better than what people or some people said I was. And um, I always felt like I can do things that people said I couldn't. You know, that definitely gave me motivation. But I walked in coach office Tuesday, early Tuesday morning, and just informed them of my decision. Uh, I talked to them after the game, and I was sort of I was kind of leaning towards both. I, I said, you know, I, I kind of want to enter the draft. He said, no, you have to be sure to enter this um, business. And um, so I walked in Tuesday, confident than ever that I felt like I made the right decision. Joe, now what kind of decision did you get or what kind of information did you get from scouts or uh, any kind of feedback in the NBA as far as draft status and where you might go in the draft? Well, um, I, some people say that I've, they want to see me up close in person. They want to see me play my true position. Um, you know, I, I've had to, you know, do certain things for Coach Martin and uh, sacrifice for the team as far as um, playing not my true position, playing the center spot. And uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to to playing my true position. Uh, I have a lot of things to work on. And as far as projections, I feel like. Uh, you know, some some teams are giving me a shot at the first round, but um, it just all depends on where I work out at, you know, how I work out, and uh, I feel like I control my own destiny. How big, uh, you know, this is a process you've been through twice now, the advisory yeah. committee, I believe. I mean, looking back on it, how important and how good of a decision was it to stay and work on the things you needed to work on? Uh, it, was, it was definitely an important decision. Um, I'm so happy I stayed last year. With the run we made and the way I was able to soak in some of the information, uh, some of the information that scouts and certain people were giving me that I need to work on, I basically went in the gym and, uh, and, and worked on my conditioning. You know, I was able to showcase uh, some skills that I hadn't showed in the past, and I was um, hitting jump shots and running the floor much better. And um, I was in better shape last year, and I was able to even rebound at a higher rate than I did the year before with an animal like Jerron on my team. And, and, uh, so I'm definitely glad I stayed. Jarnell, Coach said that uh, he, he said you had to make sure you, you really wanted to do this right after the, the last game you played. What was his decision or what was his reaction when you finally made your decision? What was that conversation like with, with Coach? Um, he wished me the best of luck. Um, I feel like Coach Martin is very genuine and and he wants the best for me. And last year he was telling me, no, you, you shouldn't go. You know, you have to make your own decision, but no, you shouldn't. And, and this year he was more, okay, maybe it's time. You know, it's, maybe it's time. And, and if you want to stay, I'm, I'm happy to have you. So um, that's just how genuine Coach Martin has been for us. This team did some good things this year at the end of the season. They're going to take a pretty big hit with you not coming back. Did any of that weigh into, in, into your decision that how you're going to leave this team, I guess, as they go into next season? Um, no, I felt like as an individual player and my skill set and some of the things I can bring to an NBA team, I felt like I was ready. You know, I, I, I really feel like I was ready, and I just wanted to be sure, and I was able to walk in Coach Martin's office you know, Tuesday morning and let him know. But, you know, I, I, was, I just worked out with the team last um, it was yesterday. I worked out the team yesterday, and I was just so surprised at how focused and how hard they were ready to work. So I feel like they'll be ready for next year. I feel like they're, they're in good hands, and, and they'll be pretty much better than people giving them credit for. A lot of people on the outside might say, well, it's the NBA. It's an easy decision. But was it a tough decision, and, and why was it a tough decision? Um, it, it, I feel like it, it wasn't a tough decision for me. You know, I, I enjoy being here so much. And um, it's, it's really hard to turn down going, chasing something that you've chased all your life. It's hard to turn that down. Definitely when we made the tourney run. And um, I was able to, I feel like I can, 
I can produce on a team in the NBA. I, I really do. You know, I, I, I've heard other people, other important people say the same thing, and, and, and that really factored into my decision. Um, like sophomore year, like I said, I'm, I'm so glad I came back because I've been able to grow as a man here too. John, did you get a chance to talk to Tobias or anybody else who's playing up there about what it's like to play in the league? Yeah, I talked to Tobias um, last week, and, and he basically told me that you should come out. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> That's what he called for. And, and um, I always look forward to hearing Tobias' advice. Um, Tobias is, has had a great career in the NBA. He said sometimes he felt like he wished he would have been a second round because the way contracts are negotiated and he was the way he had the year he had last year ending the year he felt like he he should have got paid afterwards but um i'm, I'm happy for tobias and uh yeah he he's definitely a great mentor to have i think some people thought maybe we coach sort of solidifying his position here a little bit and definitely coming back next year and there was some hope that you might be right there on his coattails and be coming back as well to the fans of Tennessee and to the folks here any any messages you step out and, and head to the professional ranks uh, no I, I've loved the fans here um, I can remember when I first came here and I played against Kentucky um, the the Stokes shirt that that went out um, sell, sold out all over the state you know that's I was really just, I just turned 18 when that happened so I really en enjoyed my freshman year here and that's when Ball fans really embraced me and sort of turned me into somewhat of a local superstar. You know, I can't go anywhere without someone asking for pictures or autographs. And um, I, I, I really enjoyed that, and it's hard to turn down, but um, I'm happy with my decision. Was it tougher to make that decision with Coach knowing he was coming back or knowing the coach was coming back? It definitely was tougher. Um, coach Martin is such a, a, a great coach, a genuine coach. He's um, so easy to talk to, someone I'll be able to talk to for the rest of my life. You know, I can call him and say, um, maybe I, this doesn't sound right. What should I do? What's your opinion on certain things? And a lot of guys can't do that with their college coach. So I felt like he has my best interest. You work hard to you know, just be able to be good enough to get drafted, but now is there a push to maybe try to get into that first round? A couple draft boards have you kind of right on the cusp there. What, what do you put into the ne these next couple months to try to get drafted? Um, I would say that you know, the next month or two is probably the most important months of my life as far as being able to uh, dominate workouts and um, working on my body. I plan on work, walking into the combine a total different person, I'm having my body trimmed and, and even losing more weight than I did the previous year. And, and I definitely plan on working on my skills. And you know, some of it has to factor into the fact that, you know, I, I had to do certain things for the team this year as far as um, you know, playing the, the center position and, and banging inside. I felt like the team needed an inside presence, so that's what I did. And, and, and that, that definitely led us to making a Sweet 16 run. Right. Two more minutes for TV. Did you base that of anywhere in particular training, signing with an agency or anything like that? Um, you know, I have, a, I have a couple of agents in mind, but I, I have not signed yet. But I, I, I plan to do that in the next couple of days and, um, and probably go go to a draft camp like IMG or one of the, probably IMG. You tweeted last night, you know, this is more than about just you. What does this do for your know, family? And this, is a, this is a life changing decision. Yeah, uh, you know, I get to pave the way for um, people like my little brother and, and other situations that my family have. and. Um, you know, my, my little brother, little sister, mom and dad, they all, I mean, my, my siblings look up to me. My parents are proud of me, and um, everyone has had my back in this decision. And, um, yeah, like I said, I get to pave the way, you know. It's not just about me. And, and when I'm working out and when I'm in the gym by myself and um, losing weight and, um, you know, eating right, every single decision I make, I think about my little brother when I do it, so. Weight-wise, I mean, are you where you want to be to get to that next level? Are trying to change anything, add strength? Uh, Weight-wise, I am where I want to be, but I would like to trim my body up, meaning I would like to add more weight and uh, 
you know, lose. If, if there is any fat, I would like to lose it. So um, I just want to look in the mirror and have a trim body, you know. <laughs> I feel like it's trim, but I feel like, you know, there's another level I can take it.